from the day USCB announced athletics to the day we started cross country and every sport from then on, Larry Kimball's been a part of USCB athletics. He's a sand shark through and through. Um, back before I worked at USCB, I knew Larry as the cross country coach at USCB. And so Larry's been pretty synonymous with USCB athletics and he's created quite a, uh, um, a legacy for himself. All coaches from every sport, from a lot of different schools know who he is. And I mean, he created a legacy not only here, but up north as well. Like he worked with UVM, University of Vermont, and my middle school coach was coached by him in college. So, I mean, I already knew who coach was before I even came down here. So being down here and going to races and everything, coaches from even division one schools know who he is. So I'm sure that it's not only gonna be hard for people at this school, but it's gonna be hard to not see him at races for other teams as well, because he's that well known to everybody. Well, Larry and I grew up in the same hometown of Essex Junction, Vermont. His mother was actually my Girl Scout leader when I was like 10. And um, I've known him all my life. And he was a legend in our hometown because he was always running. And he inspired me to run. But when we moved to South Carolina, um, I was looking for a job. I came down here to recruit professionally. I did that for a while. And he knew, and he said, come on over to USCB, you know, great people, and, and I, I want to introduce you around. So he introduced me to Eddie King, our CIO, and Eddie offered me a job. And that's how I ended up here at USCB. He made it feel like it was home here, even though I'm far away from home. And um, I mean, he makes sure that you're always set and you know, that you're happy and his care for your well-being is always his number one priority, especially with his athletes and everyone he knows really, so. And he's also kind of opened up my eyes as far as the different personalities and the different hats that you wear when you coach because not only are you the person that's trying to get you in shape and get you ready for whatever um, event or meet you're trying to go to, but he's also your counselor if you don't have anybody else to talk to. So um, it's been really, really amazing to have him around. I'm happy that he's still going to be around. Um, I have truly, truly enjoyed just being able to interact with him and call him at the drop of a dime if I need him. Coach Kimball um, really is the heart and soul of uh, the running around here and the, you know, just he loves, loves, loves this university and the kids and uh, without Larry, I wouldn't be working at USCB and I have to say I'm so happy to be part of this USCB family. Um, it's just a really special place to be and Larry's a pretty special guy. I've never known a coach, I've never worked with a coach that was as passionate about their sport and about um, getting their sport out to everybody than Larry Kimball. Everybody can run, everybody can uh, walk, everybody can get a bit more fit. And Larry was absolutely dedicated to that. So what more fitting way to honor Larry by establishing the LK 5K, a 5K run honoring the legacy of Larry Kimball as USCB's head cross country and track and field coach. So the day we decided, well, what are we gonna do to honor Larry? And so we said, well, we could have a race and it just naturally flowed out. We'll have the LK 5K, perfect. No better way to honor his legacy than to have the annual LK 5K and the, the proceeds from that race every year will go towards building a track on campus or maintaining track and, and cross country facilities on campus. I feel like Coach is so worthy of having a race that's the Larry Kimball LK 5K. I feel like that's so fitting for him. It's just perfect. I think sometimes Coach um, is a little modest. He doesn't really like to be in the spotlight, but I think it's wonderful, especially to let other students in the area know about him and the things that he's done, especially for athletics. Um, and 
I think he'll really, he'll be surprised about it. And I think he'll enjoy it. Larry, Larry has said to me many times, he's not retiring, he's not leaving until we build a track on campus. And so I think he's pretty serious. So with that in mind, we thought, well, if we are ever going to get rid of Larry, we better build a track. So what better way to uh, build a track than to create the LK5K race with proceeds going towards the track. The sooner we build a track, the sooner he can uh, move fully into retirement and go enjoy his walking days on the, the track that the LK5K helped build.